What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys a quick Gears 5 video. We're going to be just taking a quick look at the newest operation. For those who don't know, unfortunately this is actually supposedly the final operation that there's not going to be any more after this from what I was told. You know, m maybe one of you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But this is pro pretty much it. So I'm thinking maybe within the next several months we might be hearing about, you know, a new Gears of War game. Uh, maybe sometime early next year or so. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into this operation, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. Um, but to start us off, very first thing, of course, some coins. We got the ghillie loadout set. Okay, it looks like a ghillie. Some coins. Sand glass precision set. Sand glass looks like it'd probably be pretty cool looking, but it's kind of hard to see. I wish they would like let us take a closer look at these, and but unfortunately, you can't really see it until you unlock it. We got Hive Buster Dizzy, which actually looks pretty damn good on him. The Hive Buster look. Fits dizzy, actually, in my opinion. I kind of wish they kept the hat, though, but either way, it still looks cool. Then we got coins, coins, Gilly power set, coins, C Company Bernie. Oh, okay, so essentially a young version of Bernadette. That's quite quite interesting there, actually. Um, wow, I never thought I would see a young version of Bernie, so that's pretty cool. Coins, another Gilly set. I think the reason why they're going with the whole Gilly set is because of Bernadette, because if you guys didn't know in the comics and novels and stuff, she was like she's a great sniper that's her type of combat she's the type of person that would sit somewhere and just wait for someone to snipe them she was really good at hunting people she actually used to hunt and kill people for there's a whole other freaking video i talked about that but basically she was a sniper slash hunter she was pretty crazy in the past before you know before we saw her in gears 3 and we got iron sand glass power sets more coins iron gilly precision set savage scion Okay, that's pretty interesting. I kind of like the idea that they're putting more savage uh, characters for the Scion. That's actually pretty interesting because I know that's not really a thing in the game yet, and maybe that will be in the future, but seeing them have the savage type of thing, like the way they used to have in Gears 3, is pretty cool. Coins, assault set for sand glass, coins, Reaper blood spray. I, I, <laughs> I feel like a lot of tryhards will run that blood spray. Um, sand glass loadout set, more coins, iron coins... Wakatu precision. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. I kind of like that. It has like the feathers like from the Wakatu. That's pretty cool. Mind blown expression. Coins, coins. Wakatu power set. Coins. Bird of prey mark. That's pretty cool. Coins, coins. Iron coins. I noticed there's a lot of coins and iron in these last few operations. Unfortunately, I kind of wish they kind of, kind of add more characters, but that's fine. Islander tie. So that's interesting. So I guess they would have to <laughs> have to make them look the way they they had in this version because. <laughs> in the um I, I mean i can't really tell from the picture there but i doubt it but maybe one of you guys can tell me because i haven't seen the actual character yet and i literally just seeing him right now but in the comics when when uh he first met marcus when he was just living on the islands all he was literally wearing was a loincloth so <laughs> that's it he was literally tarzan style practically bare naked just wearing a loincloth that's it and now they show him wearing like this cool armor thing and his hair is normal because in the comic his hair was like really long and crazy. And then um, and then I I doubt that's a loin loincroft. Well, I can't even talk right now. Probably not even saying that right. But, you know, I'm pretty sure he's probably wearing pants or something. I doubt they would do that like from the comics. And Katsu said and guitar solo. That's pretty cool. I think I might use that. I always use like guitar solo emotes in like certain games that have it. Coins, coins, Wakatu loadout set, coins, coins. And the last one is Trinity Roll. That's actually pretty pretty cool, actually, the Trinity. For those who don't know Trinity, what they mean by that is that the Locusts actually worship, worship what they call the Holy Trinity, which essentially was the Rift Worm that we saw in Gears 2, and two unseen insects that essentially helped create the Hollow. So they were like giant insects as well, like the worm. But all we really saw was just a picture of them in the comics. If you want to see more info on that, feel free to look into my uh, Rise of Rom comic um, videos where I talked about that. But yeah, so that's what they mean by Trinity, is the holy trinity that they followed. So now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the new multiplayer map. We're just going to walk around in a horde match and just load up a lobby. So I'll go ahead and cut the video so you guys can see how the new map looks. One second, guys. All right, so we are now on the ritual map, which is essentially supposed to be in the same, supposedly like the same island where the Wakatu and all that is. So we're just going to take a quick look. I apologize for the secure the fabricator part of the screen. Someone told me that I could use like a private match, but it never seemed to let me do it. So I'm just going to use Horde so we can walk around and not, um, you know, get attacked or anything. 
So wow, okay. So yeah, look at that like, big old monument there, essentially worshipping the Wakatu. Wow, this map actually looks pretty damn cool, actually. I can't wait to actually try some versus matches on this. I just, I really like the aesthetic and the design. Really well done, actually. It makes me wish that the game had more maps like this. Like, instead of just remakes of every freaking map from previous games, give us some new maps. I hope that when, you know, Gear 6 eventually comes out, that they'll, you know, follow that type of mindset. Because the, the one thing I will say overall, just one thing I want to say real quick while looking at this map... Is I know a lot of people are mad at Gears 5. You know, they didn't like what they did with the multiplayer. It it kind of fell off after Gears 4. I felt like when the structure for Gears 4 was actually better than Gears 5's, at, at least at the beginning. Because um, this game was like a really huge money grab. Pissed off a lot of fans. Turned off a lot of fans. And then after Rod Ferguson left, more people joined. Or different people joined and, and took control of the game. And made it a lot more accessible. You can learn, You can earn things by just playing the game. And it just made it overall better. So I'm hoping that with Gear 6, they'll follow the new mentality that... Oh, wow. Damn, that looks really cool. Damn, that is fucking cool. Um, I'm just hoping that with Gear 6, right from the bat, that they'll just freaking follow the mentality of, you know, what they did with this game. And Because I feel like, literally, when Gears 5 was first coming out, I didn't want to play this game. I didn't touch this game. And, um... And after the changes they made, it brought me back. You know, with the operation with Gridiron and all that, it made us, made me and my friends come back to this game. And so that's why I still play it on a regular basis because of the changes. So I'm hoping that with Gear Six, they'll just it'll be good from the beginning. They won't have to fix something that you know Coalition started off horribly. But yeah, so just kind of my mentality here, since this is supposedly the last operation, um, I just kind of wanted to talk about that. But Overall, this map, kind of back to the map here, really awesome, actually. I really like the, the structure of it, the design, really well done, actually. I like the fact that we, like, it feels like we're, like, kind of, like, in, like, look at that. That looks fucking cool. We're, like, in some type of, like, crazy structure where they would worship the Wakatu while crazy. So, wow. You can hear, like, the bird sound effects and stuff, like, gold. I just want to come back to this real quick before the end of the video. That looks fucking cool. That is fucking cool. Not going to lie. That is freaking awesome. So the one thing uh, one thing that was kind of interesting is because I remember when they first announced the, the Wakatu. I thought it was a, a bird called, I think it was called the Slackjaw if I recall correctly from the novels. And maybe it is because the way the novels describe those birds was very similar to that of the Wakatu. So maybe this is like some weird, crazy, overpowered version of that type of bird. Um, but we never got any confirmation on that. But yeah, so that was just my theory on it anyways. But overall, guys, just kind of wanted to talk about the operation, show the operation, and just kind of do a little walkthrough of the map. Just kind of showing off the map here that we got with this final operation. And just give my thoughts on Gears of War as a whole in the future. Hoping that with Gear 6, they'll hit the ground running and just make this game, make the next game a lot better from the beginning and just, you know, cater to what fans want because that's what they really need to do. But overall, guys, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you guys think. Are you guys going to be playing this new operation? With What skin is, is the skin that you want the most? And thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.